Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am just going to be doing this look right here. I've just got a bigger wing and I'm using some products that I haven't used in a while and some that I use all the time, but mostly some that I haven't used in a while. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start by clipping up my hair again, like always, to keep the hair out of the face. Get my handy mirror. And the first thing I'm going to do, which I always do, is prime my eyes. And I'm going to set that with some translucent powder. The first colour that I'm going to get is Frappe from Makeup Geek. And this, this is going to be my transition colour. The next colour I'm going to take is... Mocha by Makeup Geek and this is going to go on the mobile lid and up into the crease and the other side and I'm getting the E27 brush again and I'll be just blending that all in. The next colour I'm going to get is just a light goldy colour, like it's really really light but really really pretty. It's called Rapunzel and I'm just going to put that, just going to put this on the inside I'm just going to put this just here going back in with that mocha color I'm going to go over the outside of it and that will help to blend in everything together and everything make everything look like it's gone from one colour to the other. So now I'm going to darken up. I'm going to darken up the outsides of the eyes a little bit and I'm going to be taking and I'm going to be taking Butter Bing from Makeup Geek. And just putting it on my lid. That's all All I'm putting it on is my lid. I'm not going to go up into the crease or anything. And then again, blending all that together. I'm going to take Half Baked from the Naked One palette. And I'm just going to put it in that area. So it was a little bit messy, so go back in with that mocha and butter bean. And just sweeping it on my lid. I'm going to try and do a bigger wing, so... I'm 
Now I'm going to just put on some foundation. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Light 5. I haven't used these in a really, really long time, so I thought I would give it a go. So just got to make sure you shake it up a bit. So I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender. Now for brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Deep Brow in Soft Brown. Be using my Morphe E29 brush and just drawing in my brows. Now to clean them up, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in Light Neutral to clean up my brows, make them more neat and tidy. So I'm going to get the Sigma Concealer Brush in the F75 and I'm going to carve them out. So then we'll keep with the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. I'm going to use Fair Neutral to highlight underneath my eyes. And of course then bake with my RCMA no color powder like always now I'm going to highlight with that concealer my forehead and down my nose just a little bit on my cupid's bow I'm going to try out I've only tried this once and it had a flashback, so I never used it again. But I'm not going to be taking any photo my flash photography, so I'm going to try out the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder by It Cosmetics. And then I'm just going to pat away that bake. So it's kind of like blurred my face a bit. I think I may like it. It's definitely like mattified my face a little bit too. But it might be pretty good. I may like it. I have to try it a few more times though. So, okay, so now I'm going to set my brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Contour with the Cap on D Shade and Light palette. And 
I might use my new E49 brush to do that. Then I'm going to bronze up my face. Um, I might use the Steeler Stay All Day bronzer um, in medium. And I'll use the E59 brush. Just to put some warmth back in my face because it... needs it <laughs> might use the NARS orgasm blush because I haven't used that in a while so we'll use that one just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then I'll blend it back I like um, we we'll use the Mary Luminizer. We haven't used that one in a while, so we're using a lot of things we haven't used in a while, so why not? And I'll use the E48 brush by Morphe. underneath the eyes seeing as we've done everything else for our face and it looks a little bit weird so I'm gonna use this elf brush I love this brush because it's like thick but thin so I can get really close to my lash line and it smudges out really well so I'm gonna take that frappe first and and then I'm taking that mocha and we'll just go over just on the outside, not going all the way in. I'm going to get my Tartius um, clay paint in black and take my E43 brush and I'm just going to put that on my waterline. And then get that elf brush again. Ooh. Get that elf brush again. Get that butter bing colour. And I'm going to blend that in so it all blends in together and smudge it down a bit. And blending that all the way across my waterline so the black's not too harsh in the inner corner. For mascara, I'm going to be using the They're Real by Benefit. I'm just coating. I'm just going to be applying some lashes and I'll be using the Ardell Lash Grip Lash Glue. And then getting that liner again and just going over that lash band. Now for lips. I'm going to put Honey Love over the top. Give it a spray with some Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. We're done.
So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. Also, click that little bell so you're notified when I upload again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.